Every war has a villain, someone who defines the politics, the battle and the drama. In this war, that's Vladimir Putin and frankly he fits the bill. Former spy, unlikely rise to power and a mysterious personal life. Many questions swirl around him. Tonight we focus on one such question. How rich is Vladimir Putin? Here's what the official records say. Putin's annual salary is $140,000. His assets include one apartment, one trailer and three cars. Modest, simple, frugal. Well, not so fast. Unofficially, Putin could be a billionaire. According to one report, he could be the richest person on earth. His net worth, almost $200 billion. Take a look at his assets. A mansion on the Black Sea worth $1 billion. It's got a casino, a nightclub, the whole shebang. The sofas are worth $500,000. The bar table worth $54,000. Even the washrooms are minted. It's got toilet brushes worth $850. Paper rolls worth $1,200. Imagine maintaining a property of the scale. Well, you don't have to imagine because we've got the numbers. $2 million and 40 employees. That's what it takes to maintain this mansion. And that's where Putin allegedly holidays. But how does he get there? He can choose from this ex exhaustive list, 58 aircraft, 700 cars, or perhaps the $100 million super yacht. Vladimir Putin is spoiled for choice. He's also got an impressive watch collection. Take a look at this picture. Putin is wearing a Patek Philippe perpetual calendar wristwatch. Price tag, $60,000. If you think that's expensive, sample this. A German luxury watch. Price, a humble $500,000. There are no pictures of Putin sporting it, but multiple reports say he's a proud owner. 500,000. Put together, the Russian president could be worth $200 billion. Where did that number come from? It was estimated by a financier called Bill Browder. He runs Hermitage Capital Management. At one point, it was the largest foreign portfolio investor in Russia, but Browder got nosy. He took on big Russian companies like Gazprom. The result was this. He was banned from entering Russia. Coming back to Putin, how exactly did he make this money? Bill Browder says it all started in the year 2003. Back then, Mikhail Khodorkovsky was Russia's richest man, but he made one fatal mistake. He challenged Vladimir Putin. What followed was a witch hunt. Khodorkovsky was jailed, his companies were seized. So the spooked oligarchs reached, uh, reached out to Putin and they had one question. How do we stay on your good books? According to Browder, Putin demanded 50% on profits, on assets, on everything basically. I know the story sounds very dramatic, but remember, these are only reports. The real picture could be very different from this. Here's what we can say though. Dubious deals have followed Vladimir Putin wherever he's gone. When he was in St. Petersburg, when he shifted to the Kremlin, corruption and cronyism was a Putin speciality throughout. But is it worth $200 billion? Well, that's hard to say. Whatever assets Putin has, the West is intent on capturing it. The UK, for instance, has created a kleptocracy unit. The job is quite simple, hunt for Putin's hidden assets. The UK believes Putin has stashed millions of dollars in London. Their mission is to identify and freeze it. But experts say it's not going to be easy. The Kremlin has mastered shady dealings. Their proxies are hard to track. Their bank accounts are sealed away. And their cyber security is top notch. So freezing Putin's assets will not be easy. The bigger question is, will this work? Putin is surrounded by loyal ministers. Most of the oligarchs still support him, so personal finances are not exactly his concern. A bigger worry is the Russian economy. Until now, Putin and his cronies did not have to worry about that. The oil money kept flowing in. So Russia's economy took care of itself. When that stops, when the oil money stops, the Russian people will feel the pinch. Their savings could disappear. Their assets would be worth less. If that happens, and when that happens, there will be public discontent. So personal sanctions on Putin are mostly symbolic. The painful ones do not target leaders. They directly target the people. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.